embark on a journey to 1932 with the movie The Bitter Tea of General Yin. This film has a mix of funny, surprising, and sad moments that will keep you hooked. Can you guess which famous Hollywood actor stands out in this engaging story? Keep watching to find out. As you get into the plot, you might think about how this movie has affected your own life. Have you ever felt inspired by its ideas about love, power, and clashes between cultures? Share your personal stories with us in the comments below. So what's your most treasured memory or personal experience connected to this classic film? We'd love to hear from you. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned for more interesting facts and trivia about this timeless movie. Don't miss out on what's coming up next. In the lively year of 1932, a fascinating movie hit the big screen, leaving a lasting impression on cinema history. The bitter tea of General Yen told a captivating story about love and clashes between cultures. Directed by Frank Capra, this famous film introduced audiences to a tale that went beyond just being entertaining, exploring deeper themes like romance, power, and societal rules. Set during a time of unrest in Shanghai, the movie follows Megan Davis, an innocent American missionary played by Barbara Stanwyck. Megan gets caught up in the chaos when she's captured by General Yen, a powerful leader portrayed by Nils Usler. As Megan learns her way around General Yen's world, she faces the harsh truths of colonialism and differences in culture. Her interactions with General Yen make her question her own beliefs and values, leading to a big internal struggle. The movie's exploration of themes like love, loyalty, and clashes between cultures struck a chord with audiences back then. It gave a different perspective on how complicated human relationships can be and how society's rules influence individual decisions. The Bitter Tea of General Yen is still loved today for its great storytelling and thought-provoking themes. It continues to capture audiences' imaginations, reminding us of how movies can show and challenge our understanding of the world. The Bitter Tea of General Yen, released in 1932, is noted for its cast, including Barbara Stanwyck, a staunch Republican. Stanwyck, alongside Ginger Rogers, Clark Gable, Gary Cooper, John Wayne, and Irene Dunn, was a member of the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals, a right-wing political action group during the McCarthy era. Stanwyck, known for her workaholic tendencies, supported herself since age 14. Director Jacques Tourneau remarked that she only lives for two things, and both of them are work. Throughout her career, she was recognized for her kindness and patience with younger performers. Marilyn Monroe, who acted alongside her in the 1952 film Clash by Night, noted that Stanwyck was the only member of Hollywood's older generation who was kind to her. In summary, The Bitter Tea of General Yen features Stanwyck, who was a member of a conservative political group and renowned for her dedication to work and kindness towards younger actors. The Bitter Tea of General Yen is a 1932 movie featuring Jesse Perry, who played the role of Miss Reed, although Helen Jerome Eddy ended up portraying the character. Notably, Jesse Perry is the granduncle of Brody Karsuski. Interestingly, Susan Hayward was supposed to star in Heat of Anger, which was intended as a pilot for a potential TV series titled Fitzgerald and Pride. However, she was replaced in the final production. These casting intricacies add layers to the film's history and production background. Despite its age, the bitter tea of General Yen remains a notable piece of cinematic history, showcasing various talents and behind-the-scenes dynamics. In 1984, during her Golden Globes acceptance speech for the Thorn Birds, she garnered praise for dedicating much of her time to complimenting Anne Margaret's performance in Who Will Love My Children, a different category. This gesture reflected her reputation for acknowledging other actors during her own productions. The production of the film incorporated $200,000 worth of Chinese antiques and art objects as set decorations. Notably, $7,000 was allocated for acquiring a bronze incense burner, adding authenticity to the setting. During the years spanning 1913 to 1915, she appeared in three Broadway shows alongside May Irwin. Orlando Daly and Lynn Pratt were involved in at least two of these productions. The Bitter Tea of General Yen, released in 1932, is noted for Barbara Stanwyck's strong opposition to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, believing success should be achieved without government aid. Stanwyck, a talented actress, was later honored in 1973 by being inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Interestingly, on his first camera appearance, Walter Connolly had an accident, breaking his leg. Despite this setback, the movie continued production smoothly. 
In the film, Stanwyck portrays a young woman who finds herself in the midst of the Chinese Civil War. She becomes entangled with General Yen, a powerful warlord played by Nils Esther. The storyline explores themes of love, power, and cultural clashes against the backdrop of the turbulent times. Stanwyck's character undergoes significant personal growth throughout the narrative as she grapples with her feelings for General Yin, navigating the complexities of their relationship amidst the chaos of war-torn China. Directed by Frank Capra, the film offers a glimpse into the romantic and perilous world of pre-communist China, providing audiences with a thought-provoking experience that delves into the intricacies of human emotion and societal upheaval. Despite its age, The Bitter Tea of General Yen remains a compelling piece of cinema, offering viewers a window into a bygone era while addressing timeless themes that resonate with audiences to this day. In the early 1930s, a film called The Bitter Tea of General Yen saw Tashia Mori stepping into a role initially meant for Anna Mae Wong. Wong, known for a similar role in Shanghai Express, was replaced due to casting decisions. Mori, later recognized for her role alongside Greta Garbo in Romance, faced a tough transition from being a promoted romantic lead to taking on supporting roles as she lacked the necessary charisma. In the movie, Mori's character Ma Lai, originally intended for Wung, adds depth to the story. However, the film marked a crucial moment in Mori's career, leading her towards supporting roles instead of the romantic leads she was initially positioned for. It's worth noting that Anna Mae Wong's presence in Shanghai Express mirrors the role she was supposed to play in The Bitter Tea of General Yen. This casting decision adds another layer to the comparison between the two films and their characters. In December 2012, Tashia Mori was recognized as Turner Classic Movies Star of the Month, solidifying her place in cinema history. This acknowledgement highlights her role in classic movies during a specific period, to sum up, the bitter tea of General Yen, with its casting changes and character dynamics, significantly influenced the careers of Tashia Mori and Anna Mae Wong, both leaving their mark in the history of classic cinema. The Bitter Tea of General Yen is a 1932 film that gained attention for its unique portrayal of a tumultuous love story set against the backdrop of the Chinese Civil War. The English translation of General Yen's safe conduct past sheds light on the central character's disdain for conventional societal norms, as it states, this fool prefers civil war to the loving arms of his bride General Nobody. Interestingly, the film's lead actress was considered for the iconic role of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, showcasing the actress's versatility and recognition in the industry. For those interested in delving deeper into the life of the film's key figures, a comprehensive biography can be found in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 2, 1986-1990, on pages 796-798. These unique facets contribute to the film's historical significance and the actor's noteworthy careers. The interplay of love, war, and societal expectations forms the crux of the narrative, making it a compelling piece of cinematic history.